Donald Trump narrowly escaped a harrowing assassination attempt during his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, sparking a torrent of reactions from celebrities and political figures alike. Caitlyn Jenner swiftly shared a defiant image of Trump, his fist clenched amidst a visibly injured ear, symbolizing resilience in the face of danger. Logan Paul echoed this sentiment, describing it as the epitome of bravery in a tweet that quickly went viral. In the aftermath, MMA fighter Dylan Dennis injected a touch of political satire, humorously remarked only a Democrat could miss that badly, while UFC champion Conor McGregor praised Trump's unwavering dedication, stating, Despite being a 78-year-old billionaire, he's out there on the front lines in Pennsylvania, spitting bullets for his country. Godspeed, Donald. Elon Musk, known for his admiration of strong leadership, drew parallels to Theodore Roosevelt, underscoring Trump's resilience. Meanwhile, conservative commentator Tucker Carlson opted for a silent yet powerful gesture, mirroring Jenner's post without additional commentary. Zach Fox injected levity into the tense atmosphere with a tongue-in-cheek remark, highlighting how small details can sometimes alter history. Former Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen expressed their prayers for Trump's safety, urging unity among Americans during this troubling time. The gaming community also chimed in. Faze Clan made a light-hearted reference to first-person shooters, tweeting, They really hit marker Trump, accompanied by a humorous Call of Duty meme. Media mogul Dave Portnoy, just landing amidst the unfolding drama, hailed Trump's response as nothing short of presidential, predicting his eventual return turned to power. Patrick Bat David, known for his strong opinions, condemned the attempt, emphasizing the need for enhanced security measures in the face of escalating threats. The emotional spectrum widened with Andrew Tate's heartfelt plea for prayers, while Candace Owens succinctly declared the election all but over in light of the day's events. Former President Barack Obama issued a poignant call for national unity, condemning political violence and urging civility in discourse. Surprisingly, President Joe Biden himself broke with convention, tweeting, I've been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally. Grateful he's safe. No place for such violence in America. Let's come together as one nation. Trump's campaign team confirmed his safety, acknowledging the tragic loss of life among the suspected gunman and an attendee. Witnesses recounted the chilling moment when gunfire interrupted Trump's address on border security, prompting panic and heroic efforts from Secret Service agents who swiftly moved him to safety. Amidst chaos and uncertainty, Trump emerged on stage, bloody but unbowed, raising his fist to a thunderous ovation from the crowd. His motorcade departed amidst heightened security measures as law enforcement swiftly secured the scene, converting the fairgrounds into a crime scene for thorough investigation. President Biden received updates from the Secret Service and Homeland Security officials, affirming a joint effort with federal partners to investigate the incident. Political leaders from both parties united in condemning the attack, reaffirming their commitment to safeguarding democracy against all forms of violence. The incident underscored the precarious nature of modern political discourse, triggering debates on security protocols and the growing polarization within American society. As investigations continue, Trump's rally serves as a stark reminder of the challenges facing public figures and the imperative of safeguarding democratic norms. Following the harrowing incident at the rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, reactions poured in from across the political spectrum and entertainment world. Caitlyn Jenner, known for her candid support of Trump, posted a solemn message on social media, urging for unity and condemning violence in politics. Her heartfelt post included a photo of Trump raising his fist defiantly amid the chaos. Capturing a moment of resilience, Logan Paul, no stranger to controversy, tweeted, Today, we witnessed the strength of a leader. Trump's defiance in the face of danger is nothing short of heroic. We must all stand against violence and division. His tweet, accompanied by a dramatic image of Trump on stage, garnered mixed reactions but highlighted the gravity of the situation. In the MMA community, Dylan Dennis sparked debate with his tweet, No matter your politics, we must condemn any act of violence. My thoughts are with Trump and all those affected. Dennis, known for his outspoken nature, rarely delves into political political discourse, making his statement particularly impactful. Meanwhile, Conor McGregor, never shy to voice his opinions, expressed solidarity with Trump in a lengthy Instagram post. The attempted attack on President Trump is an attack on us all. We must stand united against such cowardly acts. Trump's unwavering spirit is a testament to his dedication to the American people, McGregor wrote, garnering significant attention from his millions of followers. Elon Musk, known for his unconventional approach, tweeted shortly after the incident, political violence has no place in America. We must protect our democracy at all costs. Sending my best wishes to President Trump and hoping for a swift recovery. Musk's statement, though brief, resonated deeply with his vast online audience, emphasizing the need for national unity. Tucker Carlson, a prominent conservative commentator, opted for a more understated approach, echoing Caitlyn Jenner's sentiment with a simple repost of Trump's defiant photo. His subtle gesture spoke volumes, rallying his followers behind a message of resilience and strength. Zach Fox, known for his comedic prowess, in 
injected some levity into the somber atmosphere with a tweet that read, Size matters? Today, a matter of inches changed everything. Let's pray for Trump's recovery and reflect on the fragility of life. Fox's unique take on the situation provided a brief moment of relief amidst the tension. Former Vice President Mike Pence, a steadfast supporter of Trump, urged Americans to come together in prayer. Karen and I join the nation in praying for President Trump's swift recovery. Let's stand united against violence and uphold the values that define our great nation, Pence tweeted, reaffirming his unwavering stance. FaZe Clan, hit marker on Trump? Looks like someone forgot to aim down sights. Jokes aside, let's wish Trump a speedy recovery. Their playful approach resonated with younger audiences, bridging the gap between virtual entertainment and real-world events. Dave Portnoy, founder of Barstool Sports, shared a candid reflection on the incident, tweeting, Witnessing Trump's defiance today was nothing short of incredible. This man is a fighter, and America needs that spirit now more than ever. Let's all pray for his quick recovery. Portnoy's admiration for Trump's resilience struck a chord with his dedicated followers, sparking a wave of supportive messages. Patrick Bet David, a prominent entrepreneur and political commentator, emphasized the gravity of the situation in a tweet that read, Today's events remind us of the fragile state of our democracy. We must protect our leaders and denounce any form of violence. Wishing Trump a speedy recovery. Bet David's sobering message resonated with followers, prompting reflection on the importance of national security. Andrew Tate, a former kickboxing champion turned motivational speaker, expressed his shock and concern in a heartfelt tweet praying for Trump's recovery. Today's events remind us that evil exists, but so does courage. Let's stand together and pray for our nation's healing. Tate's emotional response underscored the profound impact of the incident on public sentiment. Candace Owens, a conservative commentator known for her vocal support of Trump, shared a poignant message on social media. No words can express the gravity of today's events. Trump's resilience is a testament to his unwavering commitment to America. Let's keep him in our prayers. Owens' heartfelt post resonated with her followers, highlighting the somber mood that gripped the nation. Former President Barack Obama, known for his measured responses, issued a statement condemning violence in politics. There is no justification for political violence. We must uphold our democratic values and reject hatred. Michelle and I wish President Trump a swift recovery, Obama's statement read, offering a message of unity and resilience during a tense moment in American politics. Joe Biden, the current president, surprised many with a heartfelt tweet expressing his concern for Trump's well-being. I have been briefed on the incident at Donald Trump's rally. My thoughts are with him and his family, as well as all those affected by this senseless act. Let's come together as a nation and condemn violence in all its forms. Biden's statement underscored the bipartisan solidarity in condemning political violence. In a formal statement, Trump's campaign confirmed his safety and expressed gratitude to law enforcement for their swift response. President Trump is safe and receiving medical evaluation. We appreciate the heroic actions of law enforcement and first responders during this troubling event, the statement read, reassuring the nation amid ongoing uncertainty. Local authorities, including Butler County District Attorney Richard Goldinger, confirmed the death of the suspected gunman and an attendee at the rally. The chaotic scene unfolded during Trump's final rally before the Republican National Convention, prompting widespread concern and a rapid law enforcement response. As the investigation into the incident continues, details emerge about the sequence of events. Trump had been addressing supporters with a presentation on border statistics when gun fear erupted unexpectedly. His immediate reaction, clutching his ear and seeking cover, underscored the suddenness and violence of the attack. Witnesses described a scene of chaos and confusion as Secret Service agents swiftly intervened, ensuring Trump's safety amid screams and panic reactions from attendees. The momentary silence that followed the shots was broken by a surge of relief and applause as Trump stood defiantly, fist raised in a show of resilience. The aftermath saw a coordinated response from law enforcement agencies, securing the rally site and clearing the area as a crime scene. President Biden was briefed on the incident, emphasizing the gravity of the situation and the need for national unity in condemning violence. Donald Trump Jr., in a poignant social media post, shared a photo capturing his father's defiance amidst the chaos. He'll never stop fighting for America. Trump Jr.'s caption read, encapsulating the family's steadfast support and determination in the face of adversity. Political leaders from across the spectrum, including Governor Doug Burgum, Senator Marco Rubio, and Senator J.D. Vance, expressed concern for Trump's well-being and solidarity with his supporters. Their statements reflected a bipartisan consensus in condemning violence and upholding Democratic principles. Governor Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania condemned the attack in a statement, emphasizing the state's commitment to law and order. Political violence has no place in Pennsylvania or anywhere in our nation. We stand united against such cowardly acts, Shapiro's statement read, echoing widespread sentiment. In the aftermath, Trump was escorted safely from the stage by Secret Service agents, ensuring his immediate medical evaluation and security. The incident highlighted
highlighted the ongoing threats faced by political leaders and the critical role of security measures in safeguarding public events. As the nation grappled with the implications of the attack, messages of solidarity and resilience emerged from leaders and celebrities alike. The incident served as a sobering reminder of the fragility of democracy and the need for vigilance against extremism. A swift and decisive response from law enforcement agencies underscored the importance of preparedness and coordination in ensuring public safety during high-profile events. President Biden's response reflected a commitment to unity and national healing amid high tension. In conclusion, the attempted attack on Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania has sparked a national conversation about political violence and the resilience of democratic institutions. As investigations continue, the nation remains united in condemning violence and supporting efforts to ensure the safety of public figures and ordinary citizens alike.